This is going to be a short video just uh, showing once again the make or break fights that happened today uh, across the various sets. This one is M5 versus IG. Uh, this was in the second game. They got pretty behind pretty early and right here was a really, this is where they just turned it around. First they catch out PDD but then M5 gets in a really bad position over here in the jungle but you'll see what happens. They ended up kiting them back to their tower and make a huge turnaround. Now they do have the dragon well enough time that they are coming down for it. Let's see if they can win this. Oh, coming around the outside, they catch PDD, but this has not worked for him for the last two times. They look like they have just enough damage here. The ignite will tick, and they finally shut him down. Darian getting some much needed gold in a lane that has not gone his way. Diamond not able to get back into the fight. Mana very low right now for Moscow 5. Alex East finds his ultimate down as he is just surrounded by members flashing over the wall. They get the town down, Diamond! Will they come up with a kill? They get the bomb down on Illusion and it's now the counter! Here comes Kenja from the side. The damage on Illusion takes him down and the 4v3 is pushing IG out of a fight that was theirs. He's carrying it from the side, gonna find the tie! He gets the damage! Will they get Xiao Xiao? Xiao Xiao now with the bomb on him will not make it out alive. The double kill execution and now, what would be their dragon a few minutes ago, Moscow 5 secures this one to be uncontested. Alright, this is the uh, a big fight from the first game of Taipei Assassins versus Najin Sword. Up to here, it was uh, pretty close. But uh, when Toys on Oriana goes up to the tier 2 tower, he throws his ball over near the tower to farm some creeps and push the wave. And then, as his team is kiting back, he actually stays at the very end of his tether range so that when Najin tries to initiate on them, he brings his ball from the tower through the wall over towards Wolf Camp and gets an ult off on three people of Najin, just completely shutting them down, completely stuffing their aggression, and it's really just game breaking. So uh, here's that clip really quick. Magnin realizing that and half back away. The rest of Najin Sword now going to try and collapse in on this middle lane. They're going to come around from the wolves though, but Taipei Assassin's very much ready for this one. And you can see just off the side there, Little Balls is very much ready. He's going to go straight in, puts the cleaver across. There's the ultimate Whoa. straight across, ripping them, pull in there. Little Balls actually getting, getting caught, taking a lot of the damage. Mac Noon is going to get dropped by Stanley straight away on the backside. They're going to dive in. That's going to be another kill on Phoebe. Taking him straight down, Miss. They get Watch as well, and they had to flash away from this one. This should surely be a turret on the back of this one. But well, Taipei Assassins were very much ready for that. They're going to go for Baron. Baron. They're going for Baron. Alright, this is going to be the last clip. This is in game one of TSM versus Azubu. Um, this is where they pretty much throw it. I mean, I, I wanted TSM to take it, I guess just because I wanted there to be another NA team, or at least a NA team in the semifinals or in the grand finals. But um, right after trading Baron for an inhibitor, they go on the aggressive, which is smart because they know that they need to, they need to use that Baron to the full extent. If they don't take an inhibitor with this Baron, then it won't be worth it in the long run, or they at least need to take a shit ton of global gold to make it worth it. So essentially, if you watch on the mini-map, in the beginning, Woong, Misfortune, isn't even in the fight. In fact, she's not in the fight to the very end where she's cleaning up. In fact, the only person that really is there to clean them up is Jace. At a certain point in the fight, Reggie gets low, but it's essentially just Jace, Maokai, and Blitzcrank. I mean, Maokai and Blitzcrank don't have a ton of damage even though they bring CC. What really deals TSM in is the fact that they all wanted to flash in between two towers, and they just completely underestimated how much that they would just melt. X-Special throws out his ulti onto an already dead Lux, which doesn't help them either. Um, this is just really... This is really hurtful to watch, and I'm not trying to trash on TSM, you know, I was rooting for them. But uh, here they definitely outplayed themselves, which if anything is a compliment, you know, because I think they had potential to do better. So here it is. To play that long range poke, those, those long term engagements, they want to keep TSM kind of at the back and on their toes. 
and, and this lineup's gonna make it very difficult coming to Coming in from survive. the backside, Reginald on the left. A huge amount of damage coming from Rapid Star, but he falls. Reginald is forced out of this fight. The Requiem is down. He cannot help his team here. Dyrus getting in with a turret shot, and he's forced out as well. It looks like Azubu Frost is now in the re-engage. Could they get the grab onto one of them? Ezreal goes down. We see the chase onto Reginald here. Over the top, we switch over to that, that chase onto X Special. Oh! They're all going in the middle. A beautiful shot class through the acceleration gate. Coming from Shy, they start to clean this one up. Expecial trying to stay in front here. The movement speed just not enough for Overdrive. The grab onto the odd one. Expecial goes down, and it looks like the odd one will lose his oracles here. The double kill coming out for Woo on the entire fight. Dyrus, the only one alive. Now it's going to make it a three on one in the base. The inhibitor completely open. There is no way Dyrus stops this push. I don't think he has the damage to deal it. He's actually going to spam dance.